Solo commentating some of the Wednesday Night Fights action tonight. Looks like we got that Eon. Just rocking a Weeby name. Yeah. Okay, so we got Eon and Melo. Looks like Eon on that Pokemon trainer. And we saw him bust out the Pokemon trainer at MSM. So, yeah, I mean, it was looking really crisp. Two, one, go! All right, so of course we're gonna stick it with the Squirtle. Wow, Squirtle can like control his air drift as he's charging water. Yeah, that's kind of broken. Oh, and those down air combos not gonna work out here. The grenade gonna get pulled out here for Mellow. I don't Mellow? Mellow? I'm just gonna say Mellow. But there's like no two L's in W, but eh, you know, it looks like it. So switch to the Ivy, and Ivy Sword definitely has this kill power to take out Snake at a pretty decent percent, honestly. Snake is just, can be such a hard character to deal with once you see that like, Snake has started living through these very high percents, using that rage, and the insane kill power that Snake has on stage as well. Setting up all these grenades, and right now, Mel is bringing this comeback here, but caught him sleep in there. Neon gonna close out that sock with the up air. Oh, there's Nikita goes down low and unfortunate. Can he make it back? Change and no, still not able to make it back. Even with those slight boost from the Uppy as well. Yeah, that withdrawal. Um, try to probably try to withdraw on the stage if you uh, hit the lead and get that bounce back. And use the results of that speed. So pretty much even stocks here. Down here out of shield, but the down B. Okay, there's another grenade here. Yeah, really good. The way that Mel is dropping down with these grenades is uh, starting to get a lot of these trades. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what Snake wants. He wants these trades. Usually it goes in favor of him just because he kills so long and kills so early. So Neon just moving through and these Razor Leafs doing such a good job. And being able to detonate the grenade like that is so, so useful. Look at the safe corner pressure coming out from Neon. The scary thing is, uh, Ivy at like close to mid range can confirm off of these razor leaves or just set up a really good like frame trap situation like we see there. And that's C4. Oh, wow. And Neon dashed to the C4, baited him to use it, ran back and just punished the up B to the ledge there. But Mello taking the stock right back where at uh, last stock a piece here. Switch onto the score here, get some of these early percent combos as we see the back air. Ooh, try to get the ledge extension, but no go there. Nice. Oh man, so much damage on this score. You might have to switch to withdraw. Very great whip punish there. And right now, Mel doing a really good job here on this game number one. Final stock here against the Squirtle. So we're probably gonna get a switch here. Yep. Oh, doesn't pick up the grab though. Almost had it, but the backer out of shield. Really good string coming out here. Really great pressure as well coming out from Neon. To catch that landing, yes. Fine whip, no sweet spot, but great damage nonetheless. Ooh, forward smash in him off stage. Okay, gonna go high here. Oh, oh man, the spikes, or the sparks were there. That vine whip was so, so close to hitting. Okay, so Neon getting back in a position here. And Mello just staying. Keeping it slow, he's got, he's got Snake, so there's no reason to rush into anything. You have all the projectiles in the world, all the grenades, all the Nikitas. Dash attack goes in here. And here's the ledge trap, gonna abuse that ledge drop fine whip. Oh, the parry, but he doesn't get the dash grab. Oh, uh, if, he, if he got the grab, maybe like even up throw, down throw into the grenade board. Oh, he uses the switch to get past the Nikita. Directional air drop stage, but Eon, Nikita almost catches that recovery from Charizard. Dash sacks in them right back off stage. Has to deal with Nikita, and the upbeat does not contest it. And Melo is going to take that game number one versus Eon. All right, so we'll see if Eon sticks with the trainer. Honestly, he did SD at quite an early percent. He had a really good lead that game number one on the first stock, and he ended up, you know, doing that Squirtle side beat to the ledge, got that bounce off, and. Still brought it to uh, last dog last hit. He actually had the lead there, but we are going to go Fox here against Snake. Definitely one of Snake's not so great matchups. I mean, I don't think it's like as bad as Ness level, but I do think Fox has an advantage in this matchup. He's just a character that can close in um, to Snake. Also has the lasers as well. So you really, and then you just have the run speed and the burst options to get right next to Snake, and that's exactly um, what Snake doesn't like. And of course, uh, Fox also does have that damage output as well. When Snake recovers high, uh, Fox is, has so much great pressure with the up airs and catching the landing with up smash. And we already see that, like, right now we see Melo trying to you know, get these grenade trades, but Neon doing a really good job. The up smash, not quite enough on Kalos. 
Ooh, the second hit of up air doesn't connect. Direction of air dog off stage here. Oh, the down smash doesn't, doesn't quite reach, but the back air does connect here for Eon. Now, you have this lead here, but, you know, Fox is very light. That is the one saving grace here for Snake in this matchup. Um, if Fox does mess up a handful of times, that could be the stock. What, you want to commentate? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, is, is he SoCal or? Okay, cool. So um, I just got word from Karch that Melo actually beat Jump Steady and Shine upset in both of them. Yeah, I've seen it upset in both of them here to fight Eon. And I mean, he did really well first game, but this uh, this game two looking pretty wild. Do you want to commentate? I can carry you. <laughs> it's a, if you don't want to. Oh, huh? What's up? Yeah, that's fine. All right, so Eon gonna have two old stocks here to deal with uh, Mello. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be tough. Eon is just all over Mello, and even when he's not, he's just using the laser to apply pressure, just weaving in and out with his movement speed. is just so, so hard. Look at him. Almost catches that high recovery. Still has him on the ropes here, right in the corner, exactly where he wants to. Trying to get all these traits, but they're just not working out. And again, Melo gets sent up to the skies. He's got to watch out for the up smash on the landing, and Eon nails it. Game number two, heavily in Eon's favor, and and it was uh, it looked really tough for Melo just to defuse some of the pressure. And he was going for the grenade traits, but Eon knew exactly how to hit him. Yep. <laughs> Good insight, Gary. You said defuse, and all I can think about is that the ball takes bomb. Bomb defused. <laughs> yeah, that good old C4. But yeah, I mean, Melo is doing a really good job. Is this uh, quarters, Javi? Is this quarters? Yeah, okay, so this is best of this is best of three here, winner's quarters. And uh, so far, Eon is going to stick with the Fox. Why not? It worked really, really well that game. The Pokemon trainer wasn't, uh, was, didn't look too hot with that SD, but I mean, I mean, why not? Fox versus Snake, and definitely Eon knows this matchup. He's going to get that roll into the punish here. Okay, and I like Mel uh, the, the counter pick is working out pretty well. He's, he's putting these grenades and all of his traps on these platforms. Really sneaky C4 here and Mello. Actually, I would actually consider a pretty hefty lead considering Fox's weight and Snake's weight. So Mello's doing a really good job slowing it down, setting up all these explosives on this platform. Yep, still gonna do it here. Eon trying to trying to get this laser on. Ooh. And Mello decides to go in. Everything, I, I felt like everything was working out. He was, you know, being really patient, and Eon was shooting the lasers, but you know, lasers compared to grenades. I'd rather have a grenade. <laughs> oh, man. And now this is when the platforms will bite him. Oh, really good. Eon did not try to swing there. Just went for that directional air dodge. He's going to get that uh, stock mileage. And again, he's going to get... Okay, but picks it back up. These frame traps are so good from Eon. And right now, Melo just trying to get back on stage. This disadvantage is just so hard for him to get out of. Finally, he's going to go back into neutral here. Forward tilt pressure. Nope, Eon not gonna crack. And oh, wow, and that that's the that's the best thing about like these high to top level boxes. They have a really good mixed bag of offense and defense. You know, Eon usually likes to weave in and out of his opponent's like range, but there are times he, he definitely knows how to open someone up. It's gonna be a re-grab here, the down smash. We'll seal it out here for Melo. Oh, oh, this is big hand to hold the jab there. Ooh. Oh, and the grenade as well. Okay, really good. Grenade into the up tilt here. Trying to continue this juggle. Wow, catches the landing with the C4, but Eon finds his opening. Almost gets that up air. Melo trying to make his way down through these platforms. Oh, and the parry, but Eon catches the grenade instead of, instead of detonating it. And like I said, I really like how Melo is moving throughout all these platforms. Wow, and he combos him after the grenade blows up here. Directional air dodge and the up smash to follow. Eon did not commit. He waited and he caught the landing. But, I mean, nonetheless, really solid stuff from Melo. Mission complete. Getting it this far, I mean, upsetting both Jump Steady and Shine to get his shot at Eon. But Eon will be advancing to winner semifinals.